So I just want to make sure you know how to use your calculator to graph in uh, Polar. So I'm in a graphing page, and I'm going to press menu, graph type, go to Polar. Uh, first graph I'll make is, uh, let's say, just r equals 3. Um, so there's no theta in this, but you'll notice that the uh, independent variable has changed to theta. So when we do type something that has uh, the independent variable in it, it'll have to be theta or we won't get a graph at all. Um, so you can see there we get the circle that we expect. I'm going to press tab, go up, change uh, this. This is the range of theta values. So if I change this to uh, pi over 2, I only get a quarter of the circle because the entire circle takes 2 pi to trace out. So that's something to be aware of when you're looking at a graph and it looks like uh, maybe the graph wasn't finished. It's probably because you need to uh, change that upper bound on theta. So I'm going to put this back to 2 pi um, and get that. Uh, press tab. Uh, I'm going to actually change this curve to, uh, let's see, I'm going to change it to um, 8 sine of uh, theta. So theta is in a weird place. It's actually by the pi key. You can just keep tapping the pi key until you get to theta. So 8 sine of theta gives me the uh, graph I'm expecting. Uh, and what I want to do now is just show you that um, if you don't pay attention to the uh, theta step, like right now it's uh, 0.13, I'm going to change it so that it's pi over, um, pi over 8. And show you what happens. You can see that the, uh, well, it didn't, it's not very extreme there, but uh, let's say that I make the t-step be 1. Uh, you can see that it gets kind of funny looking, um, and that's because uh, what's happening is that it's starting at 0, as you can see, and then it's going by 1s, so it, it goes to 1, it evaluates it, and then it really just connects those points. So the bigger your t, your uh, theta step, rather, the worse your graph is going to look. Um, so it, I think it defaults to, uh, I don't actually know, yeah, it defaults to 0.13, um, which is a pretty good one. You can make it smaller, it doesn't really help. Um, 05. Uh, what does happen, though, is if I trace now, menu, 5, trace, I'm going to just type 0, and then uh, as I move to the right, you can see it's counting by the 0.05 that is my uh, theta step. So that's useful if you... Uh, need to trace a graph and see what's happening at a particular value. Um, but that's about all there is to polar graphing. You can, uh, I should mention, um, you can actually graph things that are different types on the same uh, set of axes, which is useful, um, you know, if you ever need to find, to, you know, kind of visually see where intersection points occur and things like that. Um, but that's about it, so I'll cut the video here, and I hope this is helpful.